Welcome everybody to our online event today. Thank you so much for joining us. Now we have a fantastic show for you today. My name is Angelina and I am your host today and joining me are my co-hosts. Uh, we have Lisa and Taylor. Welcome ladies. Thanks Ange. Hi everyone. Thank you. Thanks for joining. So today we'll be updating you on the latest from Wendy Wu Tours, some exciting new destinations and tours to uh, introduce you to. And you'll also find out how to travel with us and also some fantastic special offers for you as well to take advantage of for your next holiday, of course. Now, uh, we'll also give you the chance to speak to our expert panel later on after the presentation. So save up all your questions and uh, we will have a live chat with you um, very soon. So let's get started. So now we are really are thrilled to introduce to you our new brochures uh, for the upcoming 2024 travel season and 2025. So we have brochures that are jam packed with all of our favorite tours and amazing holidays to India, Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, and of course, our ever popular Japan. Now, uh, these include all of our favorites, as I said, plus some new holiday adventures we'll introduce you to. And first up is our favourite Japan. So the demand for the Japan cherry blossom season has been unprecedented, is at all-time high, and we have managed to cure the last available dates in March next year so you can see the cherry blossom. So if you haven't already booked and you're looking to go next year, then we have our new tour, Best of Japan, which is an 18-day comprehensive journey that takes in the very best of Japan's classic sites and and cultural activities. Now there is only four departures to choose from so it will sell out fast so this is truly your last opportunity to see the cherry blossoms. And next up what's our amazing new tour in China Lisa? Thanks and yes so we're super excited by this one. In just 22 days you will experience the very best of what China has to offer. Of course you're seeing all the iconic sites of the Great Wall, Terracotta Warriors, forbidden cities, while experience spectacular views of the mountainous regions and local villages, traveling on high-speed bullet trains. This itinerary, itinerary is truly unique and are sure to be a sellout. This is amazing. I love this tour. And what's our uh, other new tour? So Wildlife by India. So for our wildlife enthusiasts, this amazing itinerary visits three national parks. So you will enjoy Jeep safari tours and cruises morning and evening where you will double your chance to spy the Bengal tigers, leopards, deer, sloth, bird life and many more. And let's not forget a visit to the awe-inspiring Taj Mahal and Amber Fort. This tour gives you the perfect blend <laughs> of, of offering for the best of nature and iconic sites in India. Amazing, but there is more. Hello everyone and welcome. So bigger and better and more immersive, this is our brand new tour of Cambodia and Vietnam. Um, so on this trip, we visit destinations including Ninh Binh for the first time, Ha Long Bay for two nights this time around, and one of the world's most scenic train rides that you can see here from Hue to Da Nang. You'll even get the chance to meet a Vietnamese war veteran at the Coochie Tunnels. This new tour was created specifically for the seven night cruise up to Champong Cham, meaning more included excursions. And I'd love to tell you a little bit more about our boat. So this is the Victoria Mekong. It is the only vessel to cruise the full length of the Mekong Delta. And new to 2024, we are offering our, our guests the chance to travel all the way up um, through Vietnam to Champong Cham in Cambodia. We have a range of exclusive itineraries and um, with hand-picked ports along the way um, and some of the most picturesque, picturesque parts of the Mekong. Now, we offer itineraries for either four or seven nights on this boat, and we can do it in either up or downstream, so you have the choice. Now, with just 35 cabins, you are also guaranteed a genuine small ship experience. All of our stylish 25 square meter staterooms come with floor to ceiling windows, spacious en suites and a private balcony to enjoy the views morning, noon and night. Now you also have the option to upgrade to a higher deck. So give us a call or ask your travel agent about our options. 
other uh, um, other amenities on board, we have the infinity pool to relax and watch the sunset. We have a spa for those remarkable Vietnamese massages. We have a number of bars and dining options, a library and games room, a movie room, and even the gym. And for those of you golf lovers, you don't have to leave your set at home because we will get you playing mini golf on the sky deck. Oh, I love it. What's the itinerary, Taylor? So for this, as I said, seven night cruise, exclusive for Wendy Wu guests, um, we have so many more shore excursions. Jump on our website to see what we have, including going to the floating markets. You'll visit some craft villages, some palaces, museums, and you'll even see some silk making. Um, this is our 10 day tour um, with seven nights cruising for 5,990 per person, including international flights from Australia. And then for even more, Wendy Wu for the first time ever are offering beach packages. So after your 10 nights on the cruise, for those of you who want to spend a little bit of time lounging on the crystal white beaches, um, we now have this a few beach stays available. This one um, is in Fukok. So after your cruise, you'll go to Fukok and stay with us at the Anya Resort in your deluxe balcony room. This is 15 days for 5,680 per person, including international flights again. Fantastic. We love these new tours and creating extraordinary experiences for our customers. So this is why so many people travel with us. So tell us a little bit more how you can travel with Wendy Wu Tours, Lisa. Thanks, Sanj. So we include more so you get the best value for your money. We have multiple itineraries in each of the destinations that we sell. So you will find a tour that ticks off everything on your bucket list. Our national escorts are with you every step of the way. So you just sit back, relax, and let somebody else take care of everything for you. And also, are you a past passenger with us? Don't forget to contact our team for your past passenger discount. Great reminder. And not only do we take care of the nuts and bolts of your holiday, so these are things like international airfares, your internal transportation, so any rail or internal flights, any cruises. We also do the visa process for you. We, book, we have the accommodation included and also your meals. So no wondering where am I going to eat or more importantly, what am I eating? Believe me, I've had one of those experiences before. Also, all of your tickets into the iconic sites and monuments are already purchased. So it's a VIP service straight through the doors. So giving you more time to explore. Your unique experience are included, like a tea ceremony where you sit with the tea master, learning the significance of this ancient cultural art form. These things you wouldn't experience or even know about if you were going it alone. We also have things like sumo wrestling, sober noodle, noodle making, and the list truly goes on and on. Gosh, that's so much inclusions. And if you're a solo traveller, we really look after you. We're giving you three options so that you can travel your way. You can join any of our group tours and have your own room with a single supplement. If you're happy to share, we'd be paired up with another solo traveller of the same gender and no supplement, or you can join one of our dedicated solo departures. And we've also added in some little extras into those, things like return airport transfers, lounge passes, and we also have a little cocktail reception the night before so that you can meet your group and meet some new friends. Thanks, Lisa. That is so many great options for solo travellers as well. So um, let's now go and explore some of our popular itineraries and, of course, starting with our favourite, Japan. What are the must-sees that we need to know about in Japan, Taylor? Perfect. Thank you, Ange. I'm so excited to talk to you about our Japan by Rail itinerary. It completely sold out for 2023. Um, and coming into 2024, we already have sold out a number of our dates. So you've got to jump in quick for this one. Um, for those of you where time is no limit, this is 22 days, the ultimate top to toe of Japan covering three islands in one, one trip whilst traveling on the bullet train. So you'll visit rural villages, bustling cities, coastlines and up to the Alpines. You'll see ancient traditions and new world charm. Now, I don't have time to go through everything we do uh, or all the places we see, but I'm gonna quickly chat to you about our three favorite places and the three best experiences on tour. 
starting off, um, one of my favorites is visiting the UNESCO World Heritage Site Shirakawa Go Village, which is famous for its farmhouses. You will explore the breathtaking scenery of a village surrounded by forests um, with houses from the 1800s still standing and inhabited. One of our customers' favorites is visiting the famous and mischiev mischievous Japanese snow monkeys. You can see this, this is one here is during the winter season where they're all huddled in to stay nice and warm. However, they do come alive in June and July in their summer season when they are more playful and much more cheeky. So we have brand new tours for the summer next year, which you can find online in order to see them at their best time. Now, Kyoto is also a favorite city of mine. It, is the, it was the capital of Japan for a thousand years before it moved to Tokyo. Um, it is one of the best preserved cities in Japan with streets lined by century old buildings, tea houses and restaurants. Now, while the rest of Japan adopted all their new technologies, Kyoto is clinging to its roots with traditional arts and crafts passed down the generations. And you can see over 3000 temples and shrines dotted around the city, giving it the nickname, the T city of 10,000 shrines. Now on to the top three experiences you'll have on this tour. Um, as Lisa mentioned earlier, one of our top experiences is in Kyoto, you'll visit a restored Japanese wooden townhouse to immerse yourself in the culture and the age old rituals of a tea ceremony and try your hand at fan painting. Now, another activity we have is perfect for our whiskey lovers. You will travel north to Sendai and learn about the history of traditional Japanese whiskey distilling. This whiskey is made from the purest fresh water located in the mountains next to the distillery. And you will also get to taste the famous local beer in Sapporo um, when you head up there afterwards and learn about its origins since 1877. Lastly, my favorite activity is going to Kanazawa, the capital of the Ishikawa prefecture and known for its beautiful samurai and geisha districts. Now, while you're here, you'll visit the home of a Nomura samurai, where the Nomura clan was one of the most powerful samurai families during the Edo period, and you will have the chance to wander the tranquil home that housed over 10 generations. Wow, that really is an epic tour and covers the three main islands in Japan, plus has 11 rail journeys. Uh, truly epic. Thanks, Taylor. Um, now, if you do love rail travel, we have something exciting for you new in India. We certainly do, Ange, and I'm super excited about this one, having just returned from India myself just two weeks ago. So India by rail is a 15-day train journey that takes you through northern India. Now, this is one of my favourite tours. It has all the traditional sites with an added twist of venturing further north, mostly by rail, which was actually my most favourite mode of transportation when I was recently there. Now, I'm just going to take you through a few of the highlights and monument experience, because as Taylor explained yes, uh, just before, we just do not have time to go through all of it. So Amber Palace in Jayapur is an architectural wonder. The fort was built back in the 15th century and is easily one of the most impressive monuments in the world. It is literally impossible not to be impressed by the skill, labour and wealth that went into building this fort. The Taj Mahal is on the bucket list of everyone visiting India and it does not disappoint. Made of white marble, it is more beautiful in real life than of any picture you've ever seen. Built by Shahar Jahan in memory of his favourite third wife, he had 13, uh, as a monument of love, their story is sure to capture your heart. Next, you will visit Amritsar, the Golden Temple, which is a prominent Hindu temple dedicated to the goddess Durga who is a symbol of divine power and feminine energy. And then you will enjoy a two and a half hour train journey from Shimala to Kandigat on the famous toy train, traveling through breathtaking scenery. This is a UNESCO world listed heritage site known for its unique infrastructure and steam locomotive. You will also try your hand at some block printing. This ancient form is truly fascinating and actually not as easy as it looks. Now you are gonna know you have arrived in India when you arrive at the River Gange. 
By night, you will witness the puja ceremony with thousands of devotees on the shores of the river, then returning at sunrise to welcome the day and enjoy a peaceful boat ride. This was the absolute highlight of my trip. Oh, I love this too. It really ticks off all the must-sees. Mm. And it's with six rail journeys, it really is uh, one that you can sit back and relax and just watch the views and life in India. It sounds perfect to me. But where else can we go, Taylor? Well, I'm going to bring you back to Vietnam, as I started talking about at the start. Um, for those of you who are looking at a taste of everything Vietnam has to offer, I also just got back from there last week, so I can tell you firsthand it is an incredible country. Um, and on this particular tour, you can take off all the highlights and visit charming Hoi An, historical Hue, the spectacular Halong Bay, and so much more. For those of you wanting a more intimate experience, or for those who have a few friends traveling with you, we now offer this tour as a private package. So have a look online or give us a call for dates and pricing. Now, let me run you through our top three destinations and my favorite experiences on this tour. Now, starting in the beautiful port town of Hoi An, it cannot be missed. Established in the 1600s, this quaint town is bursting with character and local life as you meet merchants and tailors, creating a range of beautiful goods. Hoi An was an incredibly important trading port and still retains the feel of centuries past, with a beautiful blend of culture, incredible cuisine, religion, architecture, and it is definitely a highlight with all of our guests. Now, our top three destinations on this tour, of course, had to mention the emerald waters of the UNESCO Heritage listed Halong Bay. Our overnight cruise takes in the magnificent evening sunset and the morning sunrise, sailing in the comfort of private cabins and facilities, not to mention the spectacular views from the upper deck. You will have a chance to relax and enjoy the delicious local cuisine on board as we cruise out amongst the numerous limestone peaks and grottos, stopping to enjoy activities which include visiting the underground limestone caves on the islands and later back on the boat enjoying a cocktail and the sunset. Now, another top destination on the tour is visiting the almighty Mekong Delta for the day. Now, along with sustaining millions of people, its waters support thousands of species of flora and fauna, and it's one of the most biodiverse regions on the earth. Locals have lived, worked, and traveled on the river for hundreds of years, and now you have the chance to see it for yourself and how they use it every day. Whilst we're exploring the Mekong, this is one of my favorite experiences. You're going to be traveled around by motorized wooden boats and even be guided on smaller paddle boats by the locals here. You will enjoy local lunch at a restaurant where you will learn firsthand of the nutrient wonders of the river where fish is their specialty. Now, get involved in the lives of the locals with our visit to Trakwe Village, which is where you see how they have farmed and worked the land for hundreds of years. You'll witness these techniques and learn about the exotic Vietnamese produce and then perhaps give it a go for yourself. Finally, in Hanoi, my favorite way to see Hanoi is on the ground with the locals. You will be off the coach and cycled around the exhilarating and vibrant streets of Hanoi. Now, constant motion is part of the old quarters charm. You'll notice bicycle vendors selling flowers and fruit, old friends gathering for a game of checkers, and cooks doing a roaring trade in steaming pho. You will, the more you look, the more you will be rewarded with the moments in hidden alleyways, secluded pagodas, and cozy little coffee shops. Oh, fantastic. Vietnam is truly full of amazing sights, delicious food without doubt. Now, speaking of amazing sights, China has also some of the best. Lisa, show us some more. Thanks, Angie, and thanks for that, Taylor. I think I just found my next trip. That looked amazing. So, yes, China, another amazing destination, and the wonders of China is exactly that. This is one of our top-selling tours, and I'm about to tell you why. In just 16 days, you will experience all the wondrous, iconic sights that China has to offer. But once again, I've only got a time to go through a few. Enjoy a four-night cruise along the Yangtze River. The Three Gorges Dam is the largest hydroelectric power station in the world still in use. Cruising upstream, you will see some of the most dramatic scenery in the world and enjoy various offshore excursions. The terracotta warriors must be seen to be believed. Endless pits in various stages of uncover to, to reveal an entire army. 
of soldiers, full-size horses and horse and carriages. There's uh, wildlife um, and so much more. Each one is uniquely carved, so no two are the same. And there are literally thousands of these. And it is said that there are more to be uncovered. Dating back to the Ming, Ming Dynasty in the 14th century, Xi'an City Wall is one of the best preserved urban fortifications in China. The wall's ideal spot also gives you a bird's eye look back over to the city. The Mongol, uh, uh, Shanghai. Oh, sorry. The, Mo the, the city of Shanghai is an ultra modern city. And on this, you'll enjoy a bird's eye view at night time, cruising down that river that you can see there in the picture. And the city really comes alive. The next day, you'll take a lovely stroll along the boon. You'll also get to vi visit the, uh, the old neighbourhoods in China. So the Mughal rulers of Beijing established this style of housing in the 13th century as a tenancy for the growing population of China. Hutongs were designed to, re to reflect the Chinese system of Feng Shui, with four hutongs joining together to make a courtyard in the middle. And no tour is complete without a visit to an authentic Peking Duck restaurant. So here we are. Yes, we've arrived at the Panda House in Chongqing. Absolutely amazing. Very serene, very calm. And look, just look over there. Look at the panda enjoying breakfast this morning, eating bamboo. This is Manji, the panda that was born in 2011 here in the panda house. Absolutely gorgeous. Would you just look at that? So that's our team recently in China um, at the Chongqing Panda House and there's so much more uh, to explore. Um, so we've given you a special offer. So thanks Lisa and Taylor for wetting our appetite with fantastic sites, Thank amazing you. cuisine um, and with our new brochure launch we are having a special offer. So one of our most popular, popular offers I must say which is our partner Flies Free or we offer solo travellers 50% off their airfare. So you can choose from over 300 departures across our 2024 range and 25 uh, to... Oh, sorry, Ange, we've lost you there. I think you've popped yourself on mute. Would you mind starting that one again just so we get all of the details of this one? Oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> Nothing like a technical glitch to make our day. Uh, but yes, so after seeing the amazing sights in all of our destinations, we have our new offer out now. So as you can see, Partner Flies Free um, is on our new fantastic range of selected tours across 300 different departures in 2024 and 2025. And that's featured um, on destinations uh, including Japan, Southeast Asia, India, and of course, China, which will go live on our website uh, later today. So a great uh, savings for you. So you can find out more on our website um, or um, look through um, our brochures, of course, to find the tour for your next holiday. Now, don't delay. Um, these offers are only on to the 30th of November. Now, also as a special offer for attending our travel show today, we have a exclusive for you. So if you mentioned travel show uh, when you inquire with us and uh, travel, um, book your travel in the next seven days, you will save an additional $100 on top of those great savings that we already have and you can get on your next holiday and secure your place. So great offers for you. Um, so we're very pleased um, to introduce you to our fantastic new tours and amazing um, destinations. So that is our fantastic show um, and we hope that you enjoyed seeing some of our new range. Um, now we're going to open it up for questions now because we can see there's quite a few 
in the chat box. So please stay online. This is your time to now um, open your cameras. You can unmute yourselves, um, share, your, and we'll share our screens as well. And um, let's open it up for chat time. You can ask any, ask us any questions you like. So Taylor, Lisa is here. We've got our product experts online. Um, and um, yeah, say all those saved questions. Um, now's the time to ask it. So I'm going to share my screen so I can see you all. So don't be shy. Hello, everybody out there. Thank you so much. Um, if you do have a question, you can click on the little um, raise your hand um, reaction, the smiley face there. So you can raise your hand if you've got a question. You can also chat in the chat box. Uh, we do have a chat feature there. We have got someone looking after that that can um, get you, but we'd love to hear your voice. Um, you know, let's Let's go um, old school and you can feel free to talk to us and just click on your little microphone there um, on the three little dots as you click on your square and you can unmute yourself there. So has anyone traveled with Wendy Wu Tours before? Let's hold up a hand. That's probably the easiest one. Oh, oh fantastic. Chris. Chris. Chris twice. And Bruce as well. Marilyn. Marilyn. Very nice. Oh, oh, we has love Jill got a question? Jill, is that you down there? Hang on, Jill, just give me one second. We're going to unmute you so that we can hear what your question is. One second. I was oh, there's so that. many of you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's there you go. I think, Jill, I think yeah. that's working. Yes. No, I was just going to say I've been on three tours already oh, with Wendy Wood. Wow. Well, Ooh, thank you for joining us again. Where are you thinking of going this time? Um, probably Vietnam and Cambodia, I think. Great. Um, yeah. Great so, choice, Jill. <laughs> anyway, I'd love them all. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Amazing. Thank you so much for letting us know. Anyone else have any um, plans Keith. coming up? Keith has asked a question here. Let me just go into the chat. I can see. Oh, here we are. Now I've got it. Um, can we extend the tours? Yes, you can. So with any of our tours, we do have what we have as a pre and post um, extension options. So we can certainly extend your stay before you go on a tour and do a short tour, private tour extension or after your tour as well. We can also add in stopovers. So if you're flying with Singapore Airlines, we do have Singapore stopovers, Cafe Hong Kong stopovers. So we can certainly add those in for you for the additional um, um, package cost on on top of your tour. Um, another, another extension in regards to that, and I've just seen um, Keith also mentioned, um, would there be an airfare reduction? So um, there's no extra fees for booking any extra time with us. We don't charge any more if you want to alter the flights to any way you wish. So you just give us a call and we want to make it work for you. So you let us know what you're looking for. Thank you there, Keith. And um, Jen, did I see you were going to ask us something, Jennifer? Uh, yes, I was. I'm just in the middle of typing at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm travelling uh, uh, on an 18-day India tour, departing on the 17th of February 20, uh, 2024. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to know the hotels that we're going to be using for that tour, please. I know people have said, oh, you've got to wait. Um, but I really do like to um, research the hotel, see where we're staying uh, and, and that sort of thing. Absolutely, Jennifer. I completely understand. I also love checking out the hotels before I get there. So on our website, we give a suggestion of a few of the tours that we love to we love to book. It's our regular hotels that you usually stay in, which I'd be happy to, to show you later if you'd like. Um, yeah, that'd but be great. Yeah, yes. perfect. I can do that for you. And then final confirmation hotel list will be sent to you with your final documents, but we can have a chat before then. I understand. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Perfect. It'll be amazing. Lisa's just come back from India, so she can talk to us for the next hour about her experiences. Maybe there, I'm even sure. longer. You'll love it. Maybe even longer. <laughs> You'll have um, an amazing time, Jennifer. It was. It was uh, um, just words can't even describe how amazing that country is. So you enjoy. Thank you very much. I'm really looking to something different. I'm going with a girlfriend. We've both got our birthdays in February. We both want to sit in the front of the Taj Mahal. Oh. <laughs> and I can't wait to see Varanasi. No, Varanasi is a definite highlight. And the fact that you're going with a girlfriend, I travelled with my cousin actually, and we laughed from the time we woke up in the morning until the time we closed our eyes. It was amazing. 
Great, fantastic. Um, Alec, have you got a question for us? Thank you for raising your hand. That's fine. I've got two questions. Firstly, because you include the airfares, uh, do, do, who chooses, the, well, you choose the airline, don't you? We actually offer a range of different airlines. So we have a few that you can pick from and we just want to find the best option for you. Not Qantas. But, so if you don't want to fly with Qantas, of course not, Alec. I'm not going to put you on there if you have someone else you want to fly with. So usually from Australia, the best flights go with Singapore Airlines. Yep. But say that you'd like to fly and do um, a stopover in Hong Kong, we can do Cathay Pacific for you. If you're flying to Japan and you're departing from Sydney or Melbourne, sometimes we can find a direct flight. We do whatever we can to get you on the best flight for you. Okay, that's the first question. The second question, the last tour I did, with your company was back in 2005 and in Chongqing we were allowed to go into the animal enclosure and hug the pandas is oh, that wow. is that now banned yeah. oh Alec unfortunately they have restrictions on that now they've um I know yeah. but I'm so glad you had the chance to do it because yeah, that's you're lucky. amazing yeah how incredible was that experience it was terrific I mean it cost uh twenty dollars or a hundred you aren't and the they they said oh it's for the fruit for the panda mm. i don't think the panda <laughs> saw that money <laughs> oh you were very lucky because yeah unfortunately they don't do it they haven't done it for a few years now so you um yeah you're extremely lucky so yeah thank you so much alec okay oh annette Yes, hi. Um, I just have a question about the flights. I don't mind which airline I go, but I've got a massive amount of Qantas points I can use. Am I able to upgrade or pay for one business class and then upgrade it an ordinary one? Perfect. Thank you for asking that. So um, if you have any frequent flyers, you're more than welcome to gain points by booking with us. We'll add that in. But if you want to use the points you already have, we recommend booking directly with the airline because the airline has certain restrictions about um, being able to upgrade with um, flights booked by us. So if you chat directly to Qantas, they usually help you out immensely with the, their premium frequent flyer um, members. Um, anything they're not able to assist with, of course, give us a call. But I recommend to definitely chat to them first. So I'm able to book a tour with you, but do my own flights. Yeah, that's right. So we offer land only um, tours as well. So like our friend who messaged us in the chat and asked about flying from another country, if you have a friend or family member in the UK or in uh, um, USA or in, um, I don't know, Thailand who wants to come on one of our tours, um, legally we can only book flights from Australia, but we can boot, do any of our tours land only and you can arrange your own flights um, we can chat to you about what pricing changes with that um, or your travel agent can help with flights as well. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So we have another question from Bruce. So you're wanting to go to China next September, which is a nice time of year to go. Um, so what would you recommend? Um, depending on how long you got to go, Bruce, have you got your, are you unmuted? Can you give us a chat? Um, we've got so many tours. Wonders of China is a nice um Tour, but do you, if you want to go on our China and Tibet Discovery Tour, that's one that's 16 days and you can do both if you want to and combine Tibet in there as well. Um, yeah, the time is uh, not we, – we've got open time limits, so that's not a problem, but 16 days sounds like a good time frame. Yeah. Well, we'd recommend, yeah, China and Tibet Discovery, or you can even do one of our, um, you know, 18-day tours that are a bit more comprehensive of China, um, particularly Magnificent China, um, and then add a Tibet extension on. So um, we can certainly send you out some information with that. We'll grab your details and our um, team will um, send you some options. So you have Tibet extensions as well as the tours? Yes, we do. Okay, that'd be good. Yeah, I'd yeah. like some information, yeah. Perfect, yeah, Bruce, terrific. no worries. We'll send you an email. We've got that here, so we'll get in touch with you. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh, excellent. Who um loved our India by rail tour? Did you? And we've got our China by rail tour, Japan by rail tour, and some exciting more rail coming. So for those rail fans, it's a great way to travel. Um, anyone excited about any of those three tours next on their holiday list? I can see lots of nodding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. Any other questions, everyone? No. Oh, there you no. go, Marilyn. Oh, sorry, is that Jennifer? 
Oh, um, Marilyn. Uh, we'll go Marilyn first, then Jen. Okay, just a quick one regarding the airfares. We have booked Japan by rail mm -hmm. for next September. I think it's around the 9th. So, again, with the airfares, mm -hmm. we can put our hand up for Singapore Airlines or, I don't know, Qantas, yeah. do I dare say? Um, now, when will we know which airline you've chosen? Amazing. Bearing in mind it's September next year. But we need to organise our travel insurance and we need to decide whether we will do a stopover mm -hmm. in Singapore on the way back. Perfect. We can absolutely chat to you about that. So airfares are released about 10 months prior to departure. So you departing in September next year brings my maths up to this month. So this month we'll be looking at flights for you. Um, we'll be looking at Singapore Airlines. Absolutely, Marilyn, I can make a note on your booking that you'd like that option. And then we will send you an option. You can let us know after a couple of days if you'd like to extend or do a stopover. And then we'll confirm it with you before we book anything. So we have plenty of time to discuss. Right. Okay. We are looking at every option, whether it's a direct. Um, yes, and make our mind up then. But you've answered the question that it'll be this month. Yes, and perfect. we could go back to our travel agent, I presume. Yes, perfect. If you go speak to your travel agent, then we converse directly with them and then um, they and can then help you with... What options are there on the table? Absolutely. Okay. And one other quick question. Um, you mentioned earlier that if you had been a, a past traveller with Wendy Wu, that there was a little discount. That's right, yeah. So um, depending on um, how many tours you've done with us, we have a ranging um, number of discounts. Um, so once again, mention that to your travel agent and then we okay. can definitely include that for you on your invoice before your final payment. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, actually, Keith Monaghan's got a great suggestion. So we've got our product team on the call right now. So, yes, rail travel through Taiwan would be good. So maybe Taiwan by rail could be next on our new product. Um, I've spent a lot of time on high-speed rail in Taiwan. Yeah. Really good, right? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. Yeah, I've done the same. It's amazing. So do we? can we tempt you with um, anywhere else? We're looking at seeing I'm going to go to Taiwan for business. We're looking at going back there for a, a holiday, and Vietnam, and then, then Vietnam. Right. But um, but the interesting thing is, you stay in Tainan, you stay at the place. There's one of your hotels, and that is a brilliant, absolutely brilliant hotel. Oh, great, Keith! I'm brilliant. so glad to hear. Yeah. yeah. We'll write that down now and we'll get it off <laughs> to our people. We'll talk to other people and you never know. Watch this space, Taiwan by Rail. It's a hidden gem, right? Taiwan is really a hidden gem. It, it, you really need to experience it. It is a stunning mountainous scenery. Um, the Taroko Gorge is beautiful, crystal clear rivers and lakes. Um, and they love cycling over there. Very healthy. You'll see Tai Chi there. Um, just people very, very fit and healthy um, with beautiful um, outlooks, particularly down in Koshung. You've got the National Park. Um, and I think it's about an hour and a half, Keith, correct? me from Koshung right up to Taipei on the fast uh, fast train, maybe uh, two hours. Uh, no, it's about two, two and a half hours. Yeah. So um, interestingly, plenty. in Taipei, you can drive 30 minutes and you're on an active volcano. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's it's very interesting. Yeah, it's a beautiful destination. So yes, tick put add that to the list, people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and another thing I, I might mention until someone else remembers another question um, is very part of our, our new packages, which you heard today, is the fact that we're opening up so many more private tours. So if for any reason you and your friends or Keith, you want to bring your friends along to Taiwan again and show them what you already know, we can do private tours to a number of our destinations around the world. So um, if that was something you ever thought about doing with a few friends, please give us a ring um, and we can see what we can organise for you. That's also available. Amazing. Now, Jill, you've mentioned here in the chat you have a question. Are you there? Can you um, unmute and ask your question? I can't seem to find it in the chat box. Is Jill still online with us? Jill's I Jill, are you there? 
that's not you, Jill. That's another Jill. Let me okay. see if I can right. find Jill. We'll see if we can find it. We'll circle back, Jill. We'll oh, I circle found back you, Jill. You. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Here we go. There you we're going to have it. Jill, there you are. Yes, I'm here. Oh, fantastic. I can't get the photo up at the moment. Sorry about that. That's okay. No problem. I was just asking a question about you said that the transfers would be included to the airport. Um, what if someone lives in a regional area? They still include the transfers to the um, to the metropolitan airport or do they get some sort of a voucher so they can organise their own transfers? Perfect. So if you live in a regional area in Australia, our transfers included for our solo passengers um, are within 50 kilometres of the airport. So if you live outside of 50 kilometres, um, we would love to still offer it to you. There just may be a surcharge for that. So um, often we can include it for you or perhaps you could stay you know, with a friend or family member who live within 50 kilometres and then we can include it for you. It is just something extra that we include for our solo passengers. So um, there is if for any reason it wouldn't work for your address, um, it's not something we, we reimburse because you haven't paid for it. It's just a, a special add-on that we include for you. Okay. And that is just on our solo departures, folks. Yep. So not on regular tours, just for our solo dedicated departures. They get that little extra um, complimentary add-on for that tour. Um, for the rest on our regular tours, once you land in the destination, our fantastic local guides meet you at the airport. And from then you are handheld right through to the time you leave that country. So you looked after from start to finish though. So we meet you, we transfer you to the hotel and then you start your tour the next day with your fellow tour guests on our tour. Um, and yeah, our groups are quite small. So you're only gonna be with um, make 28 other friends on a full group, um, sometimes less depending on which um, depart tour you're on um so um yeah it's a really nice um group size as well all right any other questions uh chris past traveler you feel like speaking to us where have you been tell us your story and your favorite things you've seen i've been to india and i've been to japan as well i went to japan as soon as they opened up last year i went Absolutely loved both trips. Yeah. And the next one that I would really like to do is Dreams of China. I'm not interested in going to Shanghai or Beijing because I've already been there. But Dreams of China goes out into the western part of China and it just looks <laughs> absolutely fascinating. Yeah, it is. I've actually done Zhang Zhaji myself where Avatar was filmed. You'll see that beautiful mountainous scenery behind Lisa. You can see Guilin and the Li River there in her background. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely stunning. So Dreams of Nature, like you said, is more those regional areas through the Yunnan province, very um, much about the nature. This And the Nine Villages Valley through there has just only reopened after their dramatic uh, earthquake they had a few years ago. It was closed for three years while they were obviously regenerating, you know, the, the in the park. Um, so that is amazing that we are back. And if you do want to do something a little bit different in China, if you've been there before and you've seen like Chris, Beijing and Xi'an, this tour is amazing, really is, dreams of nature. Highly recommend it. Mm, what's good to know about the Nine Villages Valley because yes. that's, I've got a really old brochure of yours and um, that was definitely on my list. That's one of the main things I'd like to see. So good to know that it has been closed, but it's now open. Thanks for that. Yeah. Well, we'll send you a new brochure, Chris, and that will have you have a look sent at... away. You don't need to send them. I've, I've picked them <laughs> look up at yesterday. You. You're on it. I love it. Fantastic. That is amazing. Um, yeah, so something to look forward to for next year. So we're really definitely. excited that China's um, definitely back open. We've got our first groups that have had an amazing time in the last few months um, that we've had about three or four different groups now back returned with yeah. great reviews. And, um, and actually, while we're talking about China, my parents yeah. were on the last trip. They were so excited to travel with Wendy Wu. They just couldn't wait um, to get on a, a holiday to China. And they have just come back and they absolutely loved it. It's so nice to hear um, when I can send my own family away and they have the most wonderful time. They say it's 
an incredible country. They were shocked by it. They, they definitely weren't in, expecting to love it as much as they did. So mm. anyone who's not too sure about China, I have firsthand personal reference. I'm sending my family there. So it's safe for everyone else. <laughs> um, well, for I'm anyone sure, who's yeah. interested. Taylor, you should actually reach out to Chris and um, check out if there's yeah. any availability on that one, because it is one of our most popular ones. Absolutely. And, um, not too many dates for that one. So, Chris, you probably should have a look at getting your little deposit down sooner rather than later. Well, unfortunately, I had got three trips booked next year already, and one of them is probably going to be cancelled, which is Jordan and Egypt. But that's the only time I've got available to go anywhere, and it's not suitable to go to China in February, March, unfortunately. But for 2025, it is yeah. really, really high on my list. Yeah, that's and great. And our dates are out for 2025 as well. So we can definitely get someone to reach out and at least send yep. some information and get that ball rolling for you. What an amazing okay. trip. You wouldn't want to miss out on that one. For sure. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. That's so exciting. I'm, I'm just, what are we doing next? I'm like, where am I going next? Uh, you all got your holidays booked. You're all ready. Um, you got to free up a bit of the calendar for next year, folks. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. Uh, any last questions before we wrap it up this afternoon? Oh, Jill, Jill, yes. Yes, I'd just like to say I went to Borneo in May this year and it was absolutely fantastic. Oh. I couldn't recommend it more highly. It was oh. just so good, every bit, apart oh, from amazing. Things, but a little bit warm. But <laughs> it was it was very hot, but it was just fantastic. We stayed at some wonderful places. We saw orangutans out in the wild. It was wow. really great. Yeah, it's a popular and I went myself. It was really good. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Best of Borneo is a really um, yeah. hot seller for us. It does. We've only got a few departures and it does sell out pretty quickly, that one. So, um, yeah, have a look at that on our website. Um, yeah. I agree. It's stunning. I'm from Queensland, so a bit of warm, humid weather doesn't bother me. Yeah. Um, you know, it's par for the course, right? Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, it's amazing, the wildlife through there. And that's where I think we our wildlife through India tour really picks up on that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, these are stunning national parks and experiences, and that's really part of the reason that, you know, we love bringing these tours, tours to you because it's all these, um, you know, you're up close to wildlife and, yeah, it's just amazing. So I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, awesome. All right. Anyone else? This is your chance. We're all here waiting for your questions. We don't want to go back to work. So, yeah, <laughs> keep talking because we will <laughs> save us doing some work oh, later. Carolyn, this perfect. Oh, hang on. I'll unmute you. Let me just send this for you and we can do this. All right. You're right, Carolyn. Oh, oh, there you go. Yes. Um, I'm looking at China next oh sorry in 2025 um i really want to see you know great wall terracotta warriors those sort of things but i want to see the pandas mm -hmm. um i was just looking at the website am I, we better off doing the 16 day one or mm -hmm. the not or the nine day one yeah for, with the looking looking for wildlife or whatever yeah, perfect. So both of those are fantastic itineraries. Both of them visit the pandas. Um, it depends on if there's anything else you want to see. I mean, if you're going all the way there and you've got an extra few days up your sleeve and you can do 16 days, you'll see so much more rather than the nine days. Um, you know, you, you've traveled all that way. It would be lovely to fit in unless you're stuck on time. So um, both having incredible experiences, but you just see a little bit more with a little bit more time. Yeah, I go one. Basically, themselves. it's still the same. Yeah, it's still still the same panda place, isn't it? You go yeah, to and everything, right. isn't it? With both. Yeah. yeah, we in okay. um Chengdu, we go to the panda house in Chengdu. So um you will see them there. You may get a little bit more time on the wonders itinerary because it's a little bit of a longer stay. Um, but um and if you okay. like a Yangtze cruise and you um like to go down to beautiful Guilin or Yangshao and do um see that area it is really quite scenic so like taylor said if you're going to fly all that way you may as well maximize your time if you can um and um enjoy a bit longer okay. sounds great fantastic yeah. okay, cool. thanks. Great. thanks thanks carolyn um, and i also 
Oh, sorry. Just before we, we go to the next person, I just had a thought. Does everyone remember when I mentioned earlier that Grand Mekong Odyssey, it's our new Cambodia-Vietnam tour. It's a little bit long. It's 20, 25 days, but fully inclusive. It's amazing. Um, something really great about that for anyone who loves the bears and the natural um, elements, they go to the Black Bear um, Retreat. So they've saved a couple of bears from the, the wild and they've, they're in the, a nature reserve now. Um, so there's lots of natural aspects in that tour as well. Fantastic. Now I saw someone else um, quickly put their hand up just a minute ago. Who was that? Was there one, someone that just put their hand up? Who have we got? Who have we got? Maybe, maybe no. Sorry, Ange, I just cut in. Who did we That's lose? Right. Um, Kathy Cooper. I was hoping to, to see something of Sri Lanka tours. We do love Sri Lanka and we have more Sri Lanka than ever because we do have some new private Sri Lanka tours as well. So when the difference with private tours, um, I'll mention that we have now, you'll find them in our new brochures and we've always offered them, but we've brought the focus back on them as well. Um, for those that like to travel when they want, with who they want, they're great for family travel because there's no age restrictions, whereas our regular tours, the minimum age um, is 12 years old for kids on our tours or I should say kids they're young adults at 12 um, and our private tours offer that flexibility as well if you're doing another tour with us and you'd like to do a back-to-back -back option so India and then a private tour if our Sri Lanka tours don't match back-to-back -back dates a private tour can go any date um, to suit your other travel arrangements so uh, yes we do have our fabulous Sri Lanka group escorted tour um, so, yeah, you can find that in our new India brochure. So um, if you need a copy of that, you can certainly order it from our website or visit your preferred travel agent nearby. They should have them on their shelves right now as we speak. And if you want to go for Christmas, we do have some Christmas in Sri Lanka left, I believe. Uh, so oh, if, yeah, you, if you're looking tours. to go away for Christmas, we do have last mm -hmm. available options on our Christmas in China, Christmas in Sri Lanka, Christmas in India, um, and there may be just a smidge left on Christmas in Japan. Um, so last, literally uh, last seats on those available and you will experience amazing um, Christmas festivities um, over um, the holidays um on the you know christmas day so really special experiences on those tours and they will be continuing our christmas tours have been so popular uh we've continued them for next year as well as 2025 so um yeah if you like to go away for christmas or if you're a solo traveler and you don't really celebrate christmas as much here at home go on holiday <laughs> and come with us <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> Totally. Yeah, um, take me with you if you really want. I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what other questions? Yes, thank you for putting that. Um, we've got the itinerary there for you. So you can click on that link, um, as I said, or visit our website as well, our Christmas collection and our Sri Lanka tours are in there. We love our new India brochure. It is amazing. Um, so, um, and China will be out next week. Um, so excited for that China brochure to come out. And the new deals and itineraries are already, um, well, the new itineraries are online as we speak. So China by rail, another great rail journey. All right. I think, we, has anyone else got any questions? We've had a few more come into the chat room. So thank you for joining us. If you did miss our presentation, we have recorded it. So you'll get to listen to our amazing um, new product and new tours um, at a later stage. We will email you the link for that um, once that is ready to go. And you can listen to myself, Lisa and Taylor talk you through our amazing Wendy Woo product. Um, so, yes, we have that recorded for you. So. Never fear, you'll be able to um, hear everything that we talked about earlier. All right, folks, any last questions before we let you go? It's cup of tea time probably. Mm -hmm. uh, so we appreciate it. All right. Hey, now, if you have... Oh, sorry, I just sorry. wanted to mention, um, I know there was a couple of other people that we spoke to earlier that were interested in booking uh, some tours. I think it was Jill was interested in... Vietnam, um, we can actually have one of our team reach out to you um, if you like. So um, if we can grab your details, we can um, get the ball rolling on those amazing trips for you. 
fantastic. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. We have got so many new things happening at Wendy Woo Tours. So please stay tuned. There is an exciting I'll let it the cat out of the bag. Can I let the cat out of the bag? Our boss is actually on this. So maybe I can tell you there might be something coming to South Africa. Um, there might be some more. You just let the coming. cat out of the bag anyway. Just let the cat out of the bag. Um, so keep it oh, out. Stay more tuned. like Sonia. You'll have to ask Sonia yeah. about how quickly that can get put up. <laughs> coming soon. Yes, coming soon to our website and to a brochure near you very soon. So lots of exciting journeys. We have lots of amazing, loyal Wendy Woo customers that keep traveling with us time and time again and always suggest new destinations. So Taiwan by rail look out bruce where we're going to be on to that um and yeah amazing new holiday um that you can enjoy with us around the world so thank you again everybody we'll let you go and get on with your afternoon if there is other questions feel free to reach out um and you can contact us um at info at wendywootours.com.au um or through your preferred travel agent if you so wish um we would love to speak to you and look forward to seeing you again so thank you so much everyone enjoy your afternoon thanks everyone have a great day thanks lisa and taylor thank you thank you thanks you. thanks everyone bye 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 bye